early Christians rejected Trinity. They also had major problems and disagreements about who truly Jesus was and whether or not he got crucified or not. The sections of this video are, 1 early Christians rejected Trinity, 2 questions to Trinitarian Christians, 3 early Christians, especially during the 2nd century, had major disagreements and problems with each other's about the identity of Jesus and whether or not he got crucified. 4 the quotes of Peter's apocalypse that confirm Islam's claims. See link of website that contains the quotes. Jesus never got crucified. 1 early Christians rejected Trinity. We, Muslims are not the only ones who believe that Jesus, peace be upon him, is mortal and not a god so that means we deny the Trinity. The Jews also reject the Trinity, in addition to the very first groups of Christianity such as the Ebonites, the Corinthians, the Basilidians, the Capocratians, and the Hypocisterians never know about Trinity doctrine at all. The Arians, Paulicians and Goths also accepted Jesus, peace be upon him, as a prophet of God and against the Trinity. Even in the modern age there are churches in Asia, in Africa, the Unitarian Church, the Jehovah's Witnesses, and even the majority of today's Anglican bishops do not worship Jesus, peace be upon him, as one in three, as what been reported by the Daily News, the 25th of June 84 under the heading, Shock Survey of Anglican Bishops. Moreover, the Socinianism, the 17th century Christian also rejects such traditional doctrines as the Trinity and Original Sin, the founder of Socinus, and his Latinized name of Lelio Francesco Maria Cesini, 1525-1562, the Italian Protestant theologian. Johannes Grieber, 1874, a former of Catholic priest in his book, the communication with the spirit world of God, in page 371 was written, as you see, the doctrine of a triune Godhead is not only contrary to common sense, but is entirely unsupported by the scriptures. So another priest who was denied the Trinity. A theologian, Edward Schilbeeks of the Netherlands in 1979 was writing some article that rejects the doctrine of the Trinity. This caused concern to the Vatican. Two questioned to Trinitarian Christians. Why, for thousands of years, did none of God's prophets teach his people about the Trinity? At the least, would Jesus not use his ability as the great teacher to make the Trinity clear to his followers? Would God inspire hundreds of pages of scripture and yet not use any of this instruction to teach the Trinity if it were the central doctrine of faith? Three early Christians, especially during the 2nd century, had major disagreements and problems with each other's about the identity of Jesus and whether or not he got crucified. Introductory note, Hebrews chapter 5 verses 7 to 8 confirm Islam's claim about Jesus never got crucified and contradicts the Bible. According to the documentary film, Banned from the Bible, which I watched on the History Channel, some of St. Peter's Apocalypse were banned from the current Bible, and these epistles contain what Islam claims, that Jesus didn't get crucified on the cross and it only appeared that he was. This banned part also says that Jesus was standing next to the cross laughing. These are the parts of the Bible that only few people in the world know about. According to the documentary film, the Apocalypse was very popular among Christians during the 2nd century. They believed, it was spiritually inspired, by God Almighty to St. Peter. They actually had doubts about, John's Apocalypse, which is known today as, the Book of Revelation. Interestingly also, this Apocalypse says that after God Almighty fills both heaven and hell with inhabitants from mankind, and the people of hell get tortured for a long period of time, the people of heaven will ask and pray to God Almighty to forgive the people of hell. God Almighty will then eventually listen to their prayers, and will order the, gates and the steel bars of hell, to be opened and allow the people of hell to enter heaven for good. This Apocalypse of Peter seems to also perfectly fit Noble verse 740 in the Noble Quran where Allah Almighty promised that he will eventually open the gates of heaven to all disbelievers and empty hell. Please visit. Hell will eventually be empty according to Islam. The following three posts from my message board contain the proofs and references about early apocalypses and epistles conflicting with Trinity, Jesus' identity about being God, and the crucifixion story. During the second century, it was widely believed among many Christians that Jesus never got crucified. This belief perfectly agrees with Islam. First post. From http colon slash slash www.answering dash christianity.com slash cgi dash bin slash message underscore board underscore islam slash read underscore post dot cgi question mark file underscore name equals 162 slash main dot txt i just finished watching the documentary film banned from the bible on the history channel please visit hebrews chapter 5 verses 7 to 8 confirm islam's claim about jesus never got crucified and contradicts the bible http colon slash slash www.answering dash christianity.com slash hebrews 5 underscore 7 dot htm closing parenthesis according to the documentary film some of saint peter's apocalypse were banned from the current bible and these epistles contain what islam claims that jesus didn't get crucified on the cross and it only appeared that he was this banned part also says that jesus was standing next to the cross laughing these are the parts of the bible that only few people in the world know about according to the documentary film the apocalypse was very popular among christians during the second century they believed it was spiritually inspired by god almighty to saint peter they actually had doubts about, John's Apocalypse, which is known today as, the Book of Revelation. Interestingly also, this Apocalypse says that after God Almighty fills both heaven and hell with inhabitants from mankind, and the people of hell get tortured for a long period of time, the people of heaven will ask and pray to God Almighty to forgive the people of hell. God Almighty will then eventually listen to their prayers, and will order the, gates and the steel bars of hell, to be opened and allow the people of hell to enter heaven for good. This Apocalypse of Peter seems to also perfectly fit Noble verse 740 in the Noble Quran where Allah Almighty promised that he will eventually open the gates of heaven to all disbelievers and empty hell. Please visit. Hell will eventually be empty according to Islam. www.answering-christianity.com slash hell.htm closing parenthesis.